Hello all, welcome to the discussion of Basic Electrical Engineering University Question Paper uh, Set 2. So we will be directly moving on the question number 3a. Before starting with this, I request you to watch the complete part of the module 1 with the set 2. So let us move on the discussion of module 2 question number 3a. With the help of phasor diagram show that the current drawn by the RL series circuit lacks the applied voltage by at an angle of phi with respect to the voltage. You should know what is RLC series circuit and it is better to draw the diagram. Then with the help of phasor diagram you need to prove that in case of RL series circuit the current is lagging behind the voltage at an angle of phi. How do you answer this? That's the question. So let me show you how to answer this. So we will be moving on question number 3a the answer key of question number 3a as i told you it is better to draw one simple circuit diagram r and l which are connected in series uh, same current is flowing through r and l but the voltage is getting divided the voltage across resistor is vr and voltage across inductor is vl if you draw like this you will be getting one mark phasor diagram and the procedure you have to explain phasor diagram how to draw the phasor diagram and uh, what is the procedure for drawing the phasor diagram then definitely you will be getting 2 plus 2 that means 4 marks then you need to say that what about the instantaneous voltage V is equal to Vm sin omega t then instantaneous current will be equal to I is equal to Im sin omega t minus phi and uh, if you can draw the relevant waveforms definitely your answer will get more weightage so totally you will be getting 8 marks this is the way how to answer this I have already completed the video in my basic electrical engineering lecture series kindly go through that video I have explained in detail definitely you will, will be getting an idea let us move on to Another question. Uh, please go through question number 3b. A voltage of 125 volt at 60 hertz is applied across a non-inductive resistor connected in series with a capacitor. Uh, the current is 2.2 amps. The power loss in the resistor is 96.8 watts and that is in the capacitor is negligible. Calculate the resistance and capacitance value. Question number 6. How to solve this? First of all, I request you to draw the circuit diagram. So we have the circuit diagram which is given on the screen R and C which are connected in series and you are applying the voltage of 125 volt comma 60 hertz frequency there is a total current of 2.2 amps first power loss in the resistor will be 96.8 watts but there is no power loss in capacitor you know that then power loss in the resistor can be written as I square R that is equal to 96.8 watts current is already given 2.2 amps from this you can able to calculate the unknown value of resistance of course you will be getting 19.83 ohm so you will be getting 2 marks how do you calculate the capacitance let us go through the steps voltage drop across the resistor can be computed vr equal to i into r of course vr will be 43.63 volt you will be getting 1 mark you can apply the kvl here it's a closed loop obviously you can apply kvl if you apply kvl you will be getting total voltage v is equal to vr plus vc am i right or not yeah now from this you can able to get uh, v is equal to vr plus vc i already computed vr and uh, i know already the value of v therefore i will be, be getting vc unknown unknown capacitor voltage that is equal to vc v minus vr definitely you will be getting uh, 81.37 volt you can get one one more marks anyway you know that uh, the voltage across capacitor can be written as i into capacitive reactance xc you know that xc will be equal to 1 by c omega and uh, omega will be 2 pi f because angular frequency can be written in terms of supply frequency so from this expression vc can be written as i upon c into 2 pi f ultimately you can simplify and you will be able to get unknown value of uh, capacitance 7.175 into 10 to the power minus 5 farad students please go through that please work out once i have done it but uh, you need to verify and let me know the answer ultimately you can get c is equal to 71 point 75 microfarad this is your final answer okay uh, by the way we could compute the unknown value of resistor and capacitor this is the way how to solve you please practice it definitely you can uh, score very good marks in the university examination so next question is a direct question actually based on the three phase circuit a three phase three single phase balanced load connected in three phase uh, star connected form with the help of a phasor diagram, obtain the relationship between line and phase quantities of voltage and current. It's a direct question, there is no confusion. But students may get confusion how to answer this. I am here to help you out. Let us see question number 3C. 
all are informed to the circuit diagram like this in that you need to mark which is line line voltage phase voltage line current and phase current in star connection no worries line current will be equal to phase current but line voltage and phase voltage will be different you can identify like uh, v vrb is a line voltage where vrn is a phase voltage please state accordingly you will be getting one mark applying the vector addition rule you can apply parallelogram vector addition rule after drawing the phase diagram apply the vector addition rule then you can compute the resultant uh, vector vr will be the resultant vector vr means vl okay line voltage I'll, you will be getting the line voltage vl is equal to root 3 times v phase if you derive definitely you can get two marks likewise you can state il is equal to i phase that 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 also can be uh, drawn with the help of a phase diagram and uh, ultimately you can apply the parallelogram law of vector addition so il equal to i phase you will get so this is the way how to solve this and uh, easily you can get six marks without any doubt let me proceed with the question number 4a with the help of phasor diagram show that current drawn by the rc series circuit leaves the applied voltage at an angle of 5 with respect to the voltage it's a similar question as that of the previous question uh, it carries the weightage of 8 marks i am going to show you how to answer this as you can observe the circuit diagram is given rc circuit series circuit if you draw in this fashion you will get one mark draw the phasor diagram so in capacity circuit current leads the voltage or you can call voltage lags behind the current any manner you can state phasor diagram is must later instantaneous voltage equation you have to write v is equal to vm sin omega t i is equal to im sin omega t plus phi because current is leading at an angle of phi all together you will be getting uh, two marks ultimately you are supposed to do the waveform also uh, in that waveform current can be shown voltage and the power likewise you can summarize the answer hope you are getting my point let us go ahead with it so another question you should know the operation of complex number in calc or manually anything is okay two circuits the impedance which are given z1 uh, 10 plus j15 and z2 6 minus 8 8 ohm are connected in parallel it's an rc circuit right parallel uh, a par par parallel circuit two uh, segments z1 and z2 both are in parallel uh, if the total current up supplied is 15 amps what is the power taken by each branch very simple question you should know the complex number operation i will show you that see first of all you are supposed to draw the, uh, the circuit diagram rl and rc first you identify if it is like uh, 10 plus j15 means it's an rl circuit 6 minus 8j means it's an rc circuit note down the point then total voltage v you are applying like this so current is all current current is already given 15 amps z1 z2 you can mark like you can write zl or z3 so i1 you can apply using the current division formula so i1 will be total current into uh, the opposite branch is uh, 6 minus uh, j j j 8 ohm divided by uh, r r plus j x l plus r minus j x c likewise you can able to write z l plus z c is it okay yeah so ultimately you can con convert into polar polar or rectangular anything you can convert whichever you comfortable you can make out so whenever you are converting one quantity it should be in the same domain so don't take one segment in polar form other segment is rectangular form then your answer become wrong whichever you comfortable you can make out so from this I have converted into polar form uh, so do the operation properly so you will be getting uh, the I1 equal to 1.967 minus 8.361 amps power dissipator will be IL square I square into RL so take the magnitude part RL means so RL also you can take the magnitude part because inductive element no need to consider so it you will be getting uh, 737.88 watts if you apply kcl i can able to get i2 i2 will be how much i minus i1 entering current will be equal to the sum of leaving current so i2 will be this much so power dissipated in the capacitive branch can be written as i2 square into rc in that also no need to consider rc element will be there no uh, r plus jxc you consider only the r part resistive part because the inductive the capacitive part no need to dissipate power it won't dissipate power so no need to consider that so if you do this calculation you will be getting 1438 14, uh, 1438.52 watts kindly verify the answer next question 3 phase power consumed by the balanced load is given by p is equal to root 3 vlil cos phi show that 2 watt meter method is sufficient for measuring the 3 phase power it's a direct question the marks divisions are as follows do mention the need circuit diagram calculation and a calculation of power factor altogether 6 marks so this is the way how to answer this.
if you are having any questions